Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. That is my daughter. What? No, I'm not working out. I'm cooking. Tonight I am talking all about butternut squash. This is gonna be super quick, super easy. I know you can do it. When you see these in the store, don't get intimidated. Don't be like, ah, it's too much work, because it's totally not. And I'm gonna show you a shortcut. Hello, Kosi. Say hello. Hello. Oh. Say hi everybody. Hi everybody. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Alright, so what I need you to do is grab a fork. It can be a smaller fork than this. But I need you to poke holes all over your butternut squash. And you just want somewhere for the air to be able to release so it doesn't um, combust and then you have a really big mess to clean up, right? See, the moisture is already seeping out from the butternut squash, crazy. So once you've done that all the way around, not too deep, but not too shallow either, probably about half an inch or so, put it in the microwave. All right, so while that's going, I'm gonna show you what I have here. Go ahead and take out a nice big roasting pan Take some no-stick cooking spray and coat it. You can also do wax paper, you can also do foil, but I like to put it right on the pan because it makes for pretty Instagram pictures. So I have this bowl here because I'm going to cube my butternut squash up after I cut it. What I'm gonna put on it, I have some salt and pepper, sea salt and cracked black pepper. I like the grinders to grind it on because it takes so much pressure. And then I have some avocado oil. You can also use olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is fine as well. But I'm gonna use avocado oil. And then for your sweetener, there are so many things you can use. Maple syrup, you can use brown sugar, you can use agave nectar. But I have honey today, so that's what I'm gonna go with. All right guys, it's time, it's ready. So I actually went for five minutes. I took it out at four minutes, but it could have used a little bit longer, so I did one more minute. All right, make sure you have something um, that you can protect your hands with. A cup towel is fine. Oven mittens are great. So go ahead and get it. Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and put it down. All right, now guys, this is what I do. It's soft, but it's not mushy, so my finger would not be able to go through, right? Hello, Chita. Hi, So I'm gonna turn it on its side. I'm gonna cut the top off. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm gonna cut the bottom off. So just where the bulb starts to like go outward, I cut right there. Then I'm going to peel it. So then I turn that to the side, right? Then I just make slices. Layer and then put it in the oven. Now 